One -hander. one hander. It's down. The Lions will lift the trophy again. Southeastern repeats. Great tip up at the net. Oh, a power tip to perfection for Ayrns. Oh, an awkward touch there by Slack, but it's sent over on three. It's IGD. Wow, what a dig by Akima. Markovska airmails it, and Hawaii wins it in four. See, despite getting the buys, have certainly been clicking. And now a block to win the set. It's Juf and Wilson, and Juf. Served by Elger. Catalano blocked, and there it is. <laughs> Rough and stuff leads to the first Power 5 win in program history for the Citadel. And we welcome you to the gorgeous Gulf Coast of Texas. They call it the island as Texas A&M Corpus Christi plays host to this Southland Volleyball Championship. And what a matchup we have here, one versus two. Taking a look at how we got here as Southeastern wins their 21st straight over HCU. That was a rematch of last year's final. Meanwhile, Corpus Christi swept through McNeese as we welcome you courtside here at the Dugan Wellness Center. He's McHaley, four-time national champion coach. I'm Daniel Gilman, Callum Squires, the third member of our team. will join us in a little. Mick, one versus two here, not much separating these two teams. No, these two teams are pretty even, and they're gonna come out and go right after each other. Serve and pass game, probably the most important thing to start with. Southeastern, my oh my, defending champs, 21 wins in a row. They can score from all elements, can't they? Yeah, they have a very varied offense, and they're very good at precision execution. Four different Lions had 10 or more digs. They're gonna need to have their dig game up against the Islanders, who showed off the pin and middle hitting. Leah Stolfis dominated yesterday. Yeah, they're very good at all of that. Uh, I, just, I just think that one team is going to try to get on top of the other one right away, and this is going to be a titanic effort uh, as, the, as the match starts. Well, the last time these two met in the tournament, the quarterfinals in Conway, Arkansas in 2015. The Islanders won that one, but recently it's been all green and gold. More on that with Callum Squires. Thank you, Daniel. Great to be with you guys here this afternoon. And what a game we have in store. This is the first ever meeting between Southeastern and Corpus Christi in the Southland Conference Championship game. But in recent times, it's been all Southeastern. Six nothing in sets this year across the two games. The Lions have been dominant against the Islanders. In fact, on this 21 game winning streak that Southeastern is currently on, the last time they lost was a three to one decision against Northwestern State back on the 14th of September. Since then, they have lost just seven sets in basically two months. It's a huge task here for the Islanders in front of a raucous crowd. And don't think this is a one-sided crowd. The Lions from Hammond are well represented here in the Dugan. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Callum. Both teams have tasted the title here in the past few seasons. And Mick, with you, it always starts with the setter. How about Bell Morgan, the transfer from Villanova, conference setter of the year? Yeah, Morgan is, is very good. She's got good size, 6'1". She sets a really fast offense, really takes charge of her team, really crafty at delivering the ball. And she's going to be exceptional uh, in this match and has to be exceptional if they're going to win. Matched up with the junior from Louisiana, Gracie Duplashane, Kaylin Newsom, Kendall Payne. Payne wins player of the year. Newsom takes exception. Really high-powered matchup on the outside. Yeah, and that's one of the things we want to watch. Both teams are going to try to get their outside attackers into the game quickly. So first ball kill off of a good first contact is really important. Jackie Arrington transfers from UIW, matches up with Stolfis in the middle. Let's take a look at the resume for the Islanders. They reached the NCAA tournament in 2020 and 2021. And as you can see here, the only two losses in conference have come to the champs in the Lions. Yeah, and, and they're good at the net. Uh, they're big, they're experienced. Uh, this is going to be really fun. I can't wait for the, the first whistle here. On the other side of things, coach of the year. Newcomer of the year, Rachel Hartman from Slidell, a superstar on the right side. All of the anticipation, all of the hype, it comes to right now as we get started. Our up judge, Stephen Funk, David Dufresne down low, and Victor Kayigas is the replay official on this Sunday afternoon. Mick, when it comes down to it, 
The serve and pass game, obviously a priority. What's another key for you? Well, I, I'd like to see the defense at the net. Net defense is really important. Both teams have talked about doing different things. Um, Southeastern will double down. They'll make some commits. Uh, we've seen now Corpus Christi actually three-person block. So there, and it seems to be player oriented in that the players call that, not the coach. So let's watch right away and see what happens at the start of this match. A near capacity crowd here in Corpus Christi, Texas. McKaylee, Daniel Gilman, Callum Squires on hand. As Gracie Duplashane gets the serving started and off the bat, it's Riley Oxan. Talented right side hitter who had 16 kills the first time these two teams met. And that's a characteristically uh, important thing. She likes to go down the line. Her first shot was down the line. She'll do that every time if she has an opportunity. In comes Kendall Mahaney. He has not missed a set all season for the Islanders. And a chance in the middle. Hartman is dug. Go to the outside to Newsom, who has the most kills per set in the conference, and she creates a net violation. Was that uh, Bell Morgan in the net? I think so. Out there. All three, all three hit front row players stacked left now for Cor uh, Corpus Christi. Newsom with 50 aces creates an overpass that is saved by Morgan. Down the line. Stolfis and now Hartman is picked up on an overpass. Both teams going behind right away. Termination for Hannah Brewer, the junior from Arkansas. O Oxan and Hartman both getting balls on the outside for each team. We've got a couple talented Liberos as well. Ansley Tullis, the senior from Louisiana in gold, matched up with the junior in Kayla White. Here's Stolfis without a blocker. Brewer caught napping. Yes. They fooled Brewer with her going behind for the back A. She bounced it. That's pretty good. 12 kills, two errors a night ago for Leah Stolfish, the junior from Denton. Preseason All-Conference and second consecutive first year All-SLC nod as the serve is long. And Mick, you've been a part of plenty of championship matches, never really a conference championship. It really throws a unique twist. So much familiarity, but a lot of nerves, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I, actually, we uh, when I was at Kellogg, uh, we had a lot of conference championships. And uh, you start off like this, there, there are some uneven plays going on right now. The miss served by long distance, the back set that was uh, uh, timing was different, so as soon as they both calm down, we'll see some really great play here. Yeah, a pair of mistakes for the hosts. And this is Payne, the player of the year in the conference, robbed. What a play by Hidalgo as Sicily takes a swing and it's down. The junior from Louisiana.